through Karbala, people are able to understand life differently. They're able to understand that their lives are not empty or pointless or meaningless and that injustice doesn't always win. They are able in that space that is called Karbala, they are able to discover that life has purpose and has meaning and that justice is worth fighting for. Karbala, instead of being just a particular event in Islamic history, Karbala becomes an ongoing thing. It becomes a constant curving or bending towards what is right and what is just and what is moral and what is correct. In that sense, for me, Hussein is archetypal. Hussein is one of those people, these archetypal figures or these models that can be imitated, who point us in a new direction who live their lives so utterly vibrantly and so differently, who preach often from a very unpopular edge, but an important message. These archetypal figures are crucial for us, for a whole of humanity. I would see Hussein as transcending all religious boundaries, all cultural boundaries, even linguistic boundaries. And he becomes for us, in the times we're living in, a reminder that justice is worth fighting for, that truth is always worth standing for no matter what the cost. He speaks not just to people involved in great revolutionary moments, people involved in great political movements, but to ordinary people like myself whose greatest struggle is just to be faithful day by day to the ordinary values of life. Even those moments pr produce and provide for us Karbala moments when we have to take little stands, unpopular stands, stands that people, even people we love, won't agree with for truth and for justice and for morality and for rightness. Those are our Karbala moments for each of us and Hussein and Zainab too are enormous inspirations. Hussein is an archetype, a model, a universal model for what is right and just.